uh, we're continuing on with the African woman's portrait. And you'll need a Sharpie marker and eraser, um, watercolor markers, a rag, a cup of water, and you'll need um, a good brush. Okay, so I've finished tracing um, the marker lines. Unfortunately, something got on here, but um, we'll be painting over that. So I'm just cleaning up any of my um, pencil lines that are left over. And I'm gonna start from the top of my um, uh, woman. And I'm gonna start painting in my, um, my headdress. And as you can see in this example, I've used just two colors. I've used a purple and um, I left the other part white. So I'm just gonna choose a different color. And you can see on the face, I've broken up the space with different um, planes and geometric shapes um, to introduce more color to it. And that's what we're going to be doing. So we're gonna start working with the headdress and um, choose, you could do one color, you can do um, white with another color. Uh, let's see, so you can start to decide before you get started. And I'm just gonna work with this purple. So what I'm gonna do is kind of create a pattern by skipping the next color. Now I may or may not color the white parts in with oil pastel. Um, that'll be a judgment call. So I'm gonna do every other block that you see in this headdress. And take your time painting it in. You don't want too much water on your brush. If you do, just simply dab it onto your, um, your rag. And I'm gonna continue on painting this. And you can see I haven't had to load up many, any more paint on my brush, it's, but it's starting to get lighter. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Tiny, tiny bit of, of um, paint. Um, tiny, tiny bit of water. So you don't wanna smash um, and grind your brush in your palette. I'm gonna be gentle with your paints and your brush. So you can see I'm holding my brush close to the end. I'm just loading up a little bit more and then I'm gonna do the this side of the scarf. And I think for this project, we're going to turn it into a three, perhaps even a four part um, to this. I don't wanna rush it. I really wanna develop it. And sometimes that process takes a little bit longer, but I think it's definitely worth it. Um, my thoughts right now is that we would create, for the background, um, we would create uh, a, a drinka, um, stamps and I'll show you how to do that and stamp the background over some paint. So let's continue on up here. And when you just use the tip of the brush and don't push too hard on it, you can definitely control where you are going to keep it and that's inside these square shapes that I've created. So I fed my cat Chip in hopes that he will not jump up here and be distracting. Um, so I think that might have worked. And the other ones are sound asleep. Okay, so you can see I'm starting from one side and moving 
kind of in, in a consistent way. I'm going from one side to the other. And I'm really being mindful as to where this color will be added. Now when we get to the face, we're going to be breaking up the space with um, just a pencil. We won't be tracing it with the marker. Basically, we've just done the outline, which is the contour line of, oh, wrong place. So what do I do? Okay, so I didn't skip the, the box and I got a little bit of paint in that. So I'm gonna rinse my brush in the water and I'm just gonna kind of dab, oh, dab it a little bit with the tip of my brush and then dab it on a wet brush and dab it on to my rag. So what I might have to do is go back in and add a different color, but I'm trying to get it out. And you may have to go get some fresh water. But that looks a little bit better. So that's okay. And I'll just leave it at that, like leave it like that until we go back to it. Okay, so that's just as I was saying, let's be mindful. But that's okay. That's why you really can't rush something in art. You need to take your time. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. Now, what I'm gonna do with my pencil is I'm gonna break up the space on the forehead. So I'm going top to bottom on the forehead and I'm breaking it into three sections with my pencil. And then I'm gonna go right by the nostril on the left and take a line going out at an angle on each side of the nose. And then I'm gonna go to the chin, right at the lower lip, to the chin area, and then from the corner of the mouth right out to the outline of the, the um, outline of the face. So now what I'm gonna do is start choosing some colors. Now one thought would be you could use just warm colors um, for the face and cool colors for the neck. Another thought is you can just use any colors that you like, because we're also gonna be using um, we're also going to be using oil pastel. So I'm going to start with this kind of beautiful brick, kind of a red. Now, if you start to lose your color and you want it darker, just add a little bit more of your brush to the paint. You don't need to add more water, just a tiny bit more brush to your paint. And then you can see it gets much darker. So it's more of an opaque quality, which is solid, as opposed to um, translucent, which is seeing it through, okay? Now each time you switch a color, I want you to make sure that you are rinsing your brush now when you switch a color, you may also have to get fresh water. I don't re recommend you get it every couple minutes. <laughs> I think we tend to do the fresh water too often. The idea is to wait until it gets nice and muddy and not, not see-through. So you really want it to be muddy, which is thick. Okay, so that's getting a little light. So I'm not adding more water to my brush. I'm just adding more paint. And I may go back over that. Make sure you spread it evenly. Make 
make sure your paints are clean. Always take care of that. You want to be careful again when you get next to an area that's wet. If it's too wet, the problem is that the paint bleeds. It goes crosses right over to that paint that's wet, so you don't want it to bloom while you're painting. Okay. And I don't know if you can hear, but I am making sure that I rinse my brush before I start in with another color. And I'm wanna, I may want to do one half one color and then move into another color. Sometimes you may just have to wait until the one you just painted dries a little bit or absorbs right into your paper. Because watercolor paper or the mixed media paper will definitely absorb the paint very fast. As you can see, it's dry already. I'm just taking the same orange that I was using on the top and moving it down to this lower part of the face. Now, the thing is you do not have to use the same colors that I'm using. You can definitely kind of explore other colors. I'm making this very colorful. I'm not keeping it just to warm and cool colors. I'm using everything pretty much in my palette. I don't know if I'll go into the brown tones. Each section I am introducing another color. I want it to be very colorful. And you can definitely reuse the color that you've used before.
So as you can see, I'm working from top to bottom. Okay, now I have all of my face done. Um, I think right now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna have you just pick one color for the background. So pick any color you'd like and paint the background. And you may, like I said, wanna move your painting around so it's easier for you to get at. And I don't suggest using too dark of a paint. This one is a, a good color because we're gonna be doing some stamping in the background. Not next week, but the week after. So like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer process for our project. And try to have it evenly distributed, the color. I don't want it too light or too dark, you wanna kinda of keep the same value. And always make sure when you're painting, you do brush strokes back and forth. It's less hard on the, on the um, brush. And always have something underneath your painting so you don't get it on your table. Now remember there are two lines in the background I've got the wall in the lower part of it, so I'm gonna do the bottom part, a slightly different color. And always make sure you smooth out your paint. And because she's so colorful, I'm not breaking up the space as much as I am, have on the face when I'm painting the background. I'm just gonna choose one color and another one for the um, just below this, this line that we stop at.
and go right to the edge. You don't want to see any white showing in the background. And if it's wet, just move the paint into a space that can be used. Okay, and once you've done the background, you're going to finish the lower part, the foreground, which is the area closest to us, right to either side of her neck. So I want you to choose another color, and you're going to be doing the bottom part in a different color, right up to the top of her shoulders and the side of her neck. Okay, so once you've done with this side, do the other side, and I'm going to have you, on your own, paint the rest of her neck, um, just like we did her face. Break up these different sections with a different color. Don't use the same color for the entire neck area. The reason why we did those extra lines was to break up the space on the neck and face and to bring in some other colors. So on your own, you're going to be doing that before I see you next week. And so you just paint the rest of her neck and shoulders. And like I said, make it as colorful as you did in her face. And make sure that whatever you do, you don't leave any white areas. I did leave white in my headdress, my scarf, but I may introduce some oil pastel to that area. I'm just going to think about it before I see you next. Okay, so make sure that's even. And I'm going to just start off with one area just to get, kind of give you an example. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this little area and this beautiful kind of fuchsia color. Okay, now I'm gonna stop and then bring in some other colors. Okay, so do you have the idea? So each section that sections off, I want you to bring in some different colors to your portrait. I'm just gonna finish this one section and then I will see you next week and we will continue on working on our African lady.
Okay. All right. Finish the rest of this and I will see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Bye.